Hi and welcome Taurus, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your September 2021 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow regularly. Awesome to have you here. There is a competition giveaway this month, some amazing Oracle decks up for grabs. So to enter, all you need to do is uh, subscribe to my channel this month, hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll go into the draw to win the most amazing deck yeah which is the uh, Rumi oracle i've got to say it's probably one of my most favorite decks of all time so whoever gets that's going to be a very lucky winner and for those that follow me regularly i'll be looking for a very positive community member you go into the draw to win the uh, angel reading cards another gorgeous deck winners will be announced at the end of the month on my channel there is also an extended version of this reading, so to get hold of that, you just have to hit the join button on my channel. I'll also put a link in the description box below. There are only $5.99 a month, includes extended version of this reading. You also get the mid-month reading, extended version, and a bonus love reading every month for VIP members. They're deeply inspirational, transformational, motivational. So if you want to invest in yourself every month, go and check those out. I have recently partnered with Keen, who is sponsoring this video, to bring you a very special offer on live psychic readings with vetted psychics and spiritual advisors. They're available 24-7 online, or you can schedule a call to suit you to help provide guidance and insights into any challenges you might be facing right now, love, relationships, career, and higher guidance from spirit. You can get your first 10 minutes for just $1.99. The price after that just depends on which keen advisor you choose. And you just need to use my special link, which is going to pop up here, or I'll also put it in the description box below. The only condition is that you're new to Keen, haven't used them before. There's a very simple sign-up process to get you started. We're going to walk through that right now. Click the Get Started button. This will bring up a list of keen advisors. You can read more about them. You can see their reviews. You can see how many readings they've done, their rate. Click the Chat Now button. This will bring up a registration form. Fill that out to get started and then just click the Get My Reading Now. After that, Keen will send you weekly discounts via email so it makes it very affordable to get ongoing support and guidance for your path. All right, let's get started with your reading. All right, Taurus, we're going to dive straight into predictions with the uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot, and let's see what you need to know. Oh, you pull the Three of Fire, which is very much planning for the long term around your finances, your career. Some of you may be finalizing certain contracts, there's a new opportunity coming in, uh, Spirit saying. We can't actually can't actually see it right now, yeah, but there is one coming in, Spirit saying. Can also mean that what what you have worked on, the funds for those are coming in, the abundance is coming in related to those. Based on your own efforts. The other three of water, which is a time of celebration with friends, with family, it can represent weddings engagements birth announcements graduations oh this is gorgeous you got the ten of earth lots of coins going up this pole it's generational so the ability to financially look after yourself your family can represent inheritance coming in retirement funding I've got to say your finances are looking pretty good And you've got the Page of Earth, so you've just got lots of books around her. It can certainly mean some of you possibly studying, up, upskilling in what you're doing, studying something new. It can represent career promotions coming in, new opportunities coming in. You've also got the King of Water, represents a very trustworthy, dependable Love partner, um, he's very confident, very balanced, by the way, very solid romantic relationship, can represent self, can represent the person you're connecting with. Wow, right under the three of fire, you've got the page of fire, which is exciting new opportunities coming towards you. 
things that are very much aligned with your passion. Spirit saying you may need to finish off things to take this up. Yeah. Oh my God, Taurus, so much good news. <laughs> you got the six of earth. Oh, it's become, whatever effort you put out, spirit saying, is going to come back to you in kind in terms of abundance. Uh, it can be an unexpected inflow of abundance. It's going to help you pay off debts. Uh-huh. Okay, you've also got the five of water. So some of you possibly focusing on the negative and not seeing the positives around you. So, you know, when all these beautiful, amazing messages are coming out, if you're going in your head instantly, oh, that's not for me, it's not how my life is right now, you've instantly blocked your flow, right? So you need to get in the right vibration. And you've got the night of air. It's saying whatever's coming in, it's going to come in fast, my loves. So you're going to have to make some fast decisions. And you've got the seven of water. So there's actually going to be a choice you need to make. You might have a few offers come in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Muse Tarot. Oh, you've pulled the Knight of Inspiration. Beautiful horse here. Absolutely represents your inspired ideas, taking action on them, turning them into reality, directly related to these opportunities coming in. Okay, you've got the tenor voices. Some of you feeling like you've been stabbed in the back. Uh, some of you may have gone through something challenging. I've got to say there's so many blessings coming in, Taurus. I would suggest not letting anything hold you back. Because mm, you've also got the tour voices. So those of you in a negative state of mind, overthinking things, yeah, spirit saying. There's certainly open doors around you. Mm. And you're going through death and rebirth, some of you. So contrasting energy is coming through, which means that if you've gone through a challenging situation, it is to leave things behind that don't serve you anymore, to leave old ways of being, particularly negativity, behind Taurus. And I'm only speaking to a few of you because some of you are in great vibration and you're attracting amazing opportunities to you. There are some of you that are in a lower vibration that need to raise yourself and believe in the blessings coming towards you. Because mm, you've got the six of emotions. Some of you are looking backwards, focusing on the negative in the past. Any other guidance there? Oh, darling, she's got the five of emotions. Feeling like being stabbed in the shoulder. Uh, some of you have gone through something that has really created a significant life event coming through here or you've just allowed a negative life event to affect you. Yeah, here we go. All right. The spirit saying you need to shift into this energy. The muse of emotions is a beautiful, watery, balanced energy. Finding that sense of inner calm, inner peace. We're all capable of doing it. You're capable of doing it. Yeah. And there's absolutely a mirrored soulmate in your life or coming towards you. All right. Let's put you some messages from your angels. Oh, you got sacred space. We, your guardian angels, surround you with emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries into this sacred space of love and healing. So your angels are watching over you. You've got the middle path. It says embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to a balanced, more peaceful life. So not seeing things in extremes, not thinking that your way is the only way. Everybody's on a different path to you. I don't have to agree with everyone. They don't have to agree with you. I'll oh, see so you got another healing angel come out for you. At this very moment, you're being bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept this healing 
where your angels surround you with our wings of love. You're eternally free, eternally fresh, eternally abundant. Oh, they're so tapped into your energy, my loves. Mm -hmm. I think the extended is going to be super interesting. All right, let's put you some guidance from the cosmic reading cards. Oh, here we go. You've pulled unconditional love. Dare I say towards self and others. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Taurus, the ultimate lesson all of us have to learn is unconditional love, which not only includes ourselves, but others as well. You have a choice between two doors, unconditional love and conditional love. Unconditional love is to love without judgment, conditions, expectations and demands. It is love that stems from the heart space and is comprised completely of pure love, forgiveness and compassion. Conditional love is to love with conditions, expectations, attachments, fear and judgments. Love is given and received freely as long as the conditions of the love contract are being met. When others fail to meet the requirements of the love contract, love is lost and replaced with issues of fear, distrust and doubt. To have unconditional love is to first love yourself entirely. When you can completely love yourself with all your imperfections, you will have greater love and compassion towards others. If you're in a space where love is conditional, ask yourself, from where does this condition stem? Most often you'll find limiting thoughts and beliefs lingering in your subconscious. Deeper still, you may uncover the wounded child within you. It is this child that love, understanding and compassion must be shared. Now that you see that your inner wounds within you with the gentleness of love, you're better able to see the wounded child within others. You will clearly see the part in them that is in most need of love. Does not mean you must stay in a situation that does not serve your highest good. Sometimes loving unconditionally means having to walk away. Directly related to your sacral chakra and your heart chakra. So your sacral chakra is very much about your emotions, your inner child. Your heart chakra, of course, a lot to do with your emotions, your love relationships. There's an affirmation here that says, I love all facets of myself and send any hurt or wounds within me, love and compassion. Very important message for some of you. Mm -hmm. All right, those of you watching the free version of this reading, those of your messages, love to hear your feedback, your comments down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, absolutely helps my channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. We are jumping straight into the extended next. So if you want to get hold of that, hit the join button on my channel. Oh my God, darling, there's so many beautiful opportunities coming in towards you. Uh, dare I say so much abundance. So <laughs> let's pull your abundance out. I mean, really, it's on fire with this. It is. There's an absolutely beautiful love relationship here. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many blessings, my love. And we're going to have to need to help some of you get out of this funk that you're in in terms of what you're doing to yourself around your emotions. I mean, obviously, for some of you, it's a life experience you've gone through. Uh, and I think we'll put your uh, healing angels here because they're certainly watching over you. Whatever else comes out around blessings, love, helping you move through stuck states, we'll dive deeper into. And uh, so for those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. If you feel like you need extra guidance and support, don't forget to take advantage of that very special offer from our sponsor, Keen, with a live psychic reading. Get your first 10 minutes for just $1.99. You will need to use my special link, which is going to pop up here. I'll also put it in the description box below. And uh, for those of you that are going into the extended VIP members, hang around. We're going into your general energies next.